Did you know that breathing in polluted air can take years off your life? Shocking, right? But here's the twist. Some of Canada's most iconic cities, known for their breathtaking landscapes and high quality of life, are also struggling with alarmingly poor air quality. Yes, we're talking about places you'd least expect. Places where people go to escape and relax, only to find themselves breathing in some of the worst air in the country. From toxic industrial zones to cities blanketed in wildfire smoke, these spots might look beautiful on the outside, but come with a hidden risk that can seriously impact your health. You may even be breathing in tiny particles right now that can cause respiratory issues, heart problems, and even reduce your lifespan. So which cities are the worst? Could it be the bustling streets of Toronto, the scenic coastlines of Vancouver, or maybe somewhere completely unexpected? Stay tuned as we count down the top 10 Canadian cities with the worst air quality. Whether you're planning to visit, thinking of moving, or already live in one of these areas, this list might just change the way you see these cities. And trust me, you'll want to know if your hometown made the list. Number 10, Vancouver, British Columbia. You might think of Vancouver as a pristine, coastal paradise surrounded by mountains and ocean. Known for its scenic beauty and commitment to green living, Vancouver is one of Canada's most iconic cities. But here's a reality check. Despite its gorgeous backdrop, Vancouver struggles with serious air quality issues, especially during wildfire season. The city's location on the West Coast places it dangerously close to some of Canada's most wildfire-prone areas. Every summer, smoke from fires raging in British Columbia and even the Western United States drifts into the city, blanketing it in a thick, hazy smog that can linger for days or even weeks. This smoke carries tiny particles known as PM2.5, which are small enough to penetrate deep into the lungs, causing irritation, asthma flare-ups, and other respiratory issues. These pollution spikes are so severe that Vancouver's air quality can sometimes rival that of major industrial cities. It's not just wildfires, though. With a high population density and heavy traffic congestion, vehicle emissions also play a role in Vancouver's air quality challenges. While the city has made strides in promoting public transportation and cleaner energy sources, the sheer number of cars on the road adds to the pollution levels, especially in densely populated neighborhoods. For residents, this means summer months can be a time of increased health risks, especially for young children, the elderly, and people with respiratory conditions. So while Vancouver may look like a dream on the outside, the hidden air quality issues can turn this paradise into a bit of a nightmare at least for your lungs. Number nine, Edmonton, Alberta. The capital city of Alberta is famous for its festivals, vibrant culture, and proximity to the beautiful Canadian Rockies. But there's a lesser known side to this city that isn't quite as picturesque. Edmonton's air quality is frequently compromised, thanks in large part to its industrial landscape and occasional wildfire smoke. Home to a significant portion of Canada's oil and gas industry, Edmonton faces air quality challenges directly linked to industrial pollution. The city's economy may be driven by these industries, but the trade-off is a higher level of air contaminants in the atmosphere. These include pollutants like nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide, both of which can cause serious health issues, especially for people with asthma or other respiratory conditions. Adding to the problem, Edmonton experiences air quality issues from seasonal wildfire smoke. During the summer, smoke from wildfires in Alberta and neighboring provinces often makes its way into Edmonton's airspace, causing significant spikes in pollution. On particularly smoky days, you'll find the city under a thick, hazy sky with air quality warnings urging people to stay indoors. So while Edmonton has a lot to offer, its air quality can be a real drawback particularly during wildfire season. If you're thinking of visiting or moving to Edmonton, make sure you're aware of the potential for air quality issues, especially in the warmer months. Did you know about Edmonton's air quality issues? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're finding this list interesting, make sure to subscribe for more insights into Canada's cities and their hidden challenges. Number eight, Toronto, Ontario. As Canada's largest and most bustling metropolis, Toronto is a vibrant city filled with towering skyscrapers, diverse neighborhoods, and endless entertainment options. 
But with big city energy comes big city problems, and air quality is one of them. Toronto consistently ranks as one of Canada's cities with the worst air pollution, driven by a combination of factors that affect the health of its nearly 3 million residents. Traffic congestion is a major contributor. Toronto's streets are constantly filled with cars, buses, and delivery trucks, all of which emit nitrogen dioxide and particulate matter into the air. During rush hour, pollution levels can spike significantly, creating a thick haze that can hang over the city skyline, especially in densely packed areas like downtown and the financial district. Breathing in this polluted air day after day can lead to respiratory problems and even increase the risk of heart disease over time. But it's not just vehicle emissions that plague Toronto. The city's air quality is also affected by its close proximity to major industrial areas. Southern Ontario is home to a variety of manufacturing and energy producing industries. And Toronto sometimes experiences the blowback from pollution produced in these neighboring regions. Additionally, summer months often bring in high levels of ground level ozone, a harmful pollutant that forms when pollutants from cars and factories react under the sun's heat. This can lead to smog days where residents are advised to limit outdoor activities to avoid the health risks associated with poor air quality. For a city with so much to offer, Toronto's air quality issues are a concerning reality. Visitors and residents alike should keep an eye on air quality alerts, especially during hot sunny days when smog levels are at their highest. Number seven, Hamilton, Ontario. Hamilton, known for its steel production and industrial heritage, has earned a reputation as one of Canada's industrial powerhouses. But this status comes at a cost. Hamilton consistently struggles with poor air quality largely due to its heavy concentration of steel factories and manufacturing plants. In fact, this city of half a million people has some of the highest levels of industrial emissions in the entire country. The steel industry is a major contributor to Hamilton's economy, but the pollution from these factories releases a mix of harmful substances into the air, including sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter. These pollutants can cause a variety of health issues, from respiratory irritation to increased risk of heart and lung disease, particularly for those living in neighborhoods close to industrial areas. What makes Hamilton's air quality even worse is its geography. The city sits in a natural valley between Lake Ontario and the Niagara Escarpment, which can trap polluted air, creating a smog bowl effect. When the wind conditions are just right, pollution from both local industries and nearby urban centers like Toronto can get stuck in this basin, leading to even higher concentrations of pollutants. This makes certain parts of the city particularly vulnerable to bad air days, especially in summer when heat and humidity make smog more intense. Hamilton's residents have long voiced concerns about the impact of air pollution on their health. And while there have been efforts to improve emission standards and green the city's economy, the struggle for clean air continues. For those planning to visit or live in Hamilton, it's wise to stay informed about air quality advisories, especially during warmer months when smog levels can peak. Number six, Windsor, Ontario, sitting right on the U.S. border across from Detroit, Michigan, is known as the automotive capital of Canada due to its strong ties to the car manufacturing industry. But Windsor's strategic location and industrial activity come with a hidden drawback. It's one of the most polluted cities in Canada when it comes to air quality, often facing unique cross-border challenges that worsen the situation. One of Windsor's biggest air quality issues is the heavy traffic that flows through the city daily. Being a key border crossing, Windsor sees thousands of trucks and cars passing between Canada and the United States, particularly along the Ambassador Bridge. This constant stream of vehicles releases significant amounts of nitrogen dioxide and particulate matter into the air, creating high pollution levels especially near the border and major roadways. But Windsor's air quality problems don't stop there. The city is also heavily affected by industrial emissions from both local factories and Detroit's manufacturing plants just across the river. When the wind blows from the south, Windsor receives a direct hit of pollution from Detroit, adding to the local emissions and often pushing pollution levels to concerning highs. On certain days, Windsor's air can contain a cocktail of pollutants, from ground-level ozone to fine particulate matter, which can pose serious health risks. The result? Windsor has some of the highest asthma rates in Ontario, 
and residents are often advised to stay indoors on days when pollution is at its worst. For those living in or visiting Windsor, monitoring air quality advisories is essential, especially during the summer months when pollution from vehicle emissions and industrial sources can reach dangerous levels. Number 5. Prince George, British Columbia Nestled in the northern region of British Columbia, Prince George is known for its lush forests and rugged natural beauty. However, beneath the scenic landscapes lies a serious air quality issue that affects the health of its residents. Prince George frequently ranks among Canada's most polluted cities, primarily due to its reliance on industries like forestry and wood processing. One of the biggest contributors to poor air quality in Prince George is the presence of several pulp and paper mills, which release pollutants like sulfur dioxide and fine particulate matter into the air. These tiny particles, known as PM2.5, are small enough to penetrate deep into the lungs, posing significant health risks, especially for children, the elderly, and people with respiratory issues. During winter, the situation worsens as many residents rely on wood-burning stoves for heating, adding to the levels of airborne particles and creating a smoky haze that can linger over the city for days. Geography also plays a role in Prince George's air quality challenges. The city sits in a valley, which can trap pollutants close to the ground when weather conditions are calm. This air inversion effect prevents pollution from dispersing, leading to concentrated levels of smog and making it difficult for residents to escape poor air days, especially during cold snaps in winter. Wildfires are another seasonal threat to air quality in Prince George. In recent years, British Columbia has seen increasingly intense wildfire seasons, and Prince George often finds itself in the path of drifting smoke. This can lead to sudden spikes in pollution that drastically reduce air quality and visibility, forcing residents to stay indoors to avoid breathing in harmful smoke particles. For those who live in or visit Prince George, staying updated on air quality advisories is a must particularly during wildfire season or in the colder months when wood smoke becomes a major concern. Number four, Sarnia, Ontario often referred to as Chemical Valley, is home to one of the highest concentrations of petrochemical plants in Canada. Located along St. Clair River and near the U.S. border, Sarnia's economy relies heavily on oil refineries, chemical manufacturing, and other industrial facilities. While this industry hub provides jobs and economic benefits, it has a dark side. Sarnia's air quality is consistently among the worst in the country, with residents exposed to high levels of pollutants that are rare in other parts of Canada. The region's petrochemical plants release a mix of toxic substances into the air, including benzene, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides. Benzene, in particular, is a known carcinogen, and long-term exposure can increase the risk of cancer. Studies have shown that residents in Sarnia experience higher rates of respiratory issues, asthma, and even certain cancers, sparking ongoing health concerns within the community. Living in Sarnia means that people, especially those in vulnerable groups like children and the elderly, are constantly at risk from the air they breathe. Adding to the issue is the cross-border pollution from nearby Michigan, where additional industrial facilities contribute to Sarnia's already strained air quality. On days when the wind blows from the south, Sarnia experiences higher levels of pollution, exacerbating the local emissions from its own chemical valley. Despite efforts to reduce emissions and improve safety standards, Sarnia's air quality remains a serious concern. For residents and visitors, it's crucial to stay informed about air quality advisories, particularly on days with high pollution levels. Sarnia may be a key player in Canada's industrial landscape, but the cost to air quality and public health is a troubling reality that residents continue to face. Ooh. Number three, Calgary, Alberta, known for its stunning mountain views, vibrant culture, and status as one of Canada's fastest growing cities. But along with its booming population and proximity to the Rockies comes a surprising downside. Calgary faces significant air quality challenges that make it one of the country's more polluted urban areas. While it may not be as industrially dense as some other cities on this list, Calgary's air quality issues are largely tied to its location, weather patterns, and nearby industries. One major factor impacting Calgary's air quality is its close proximity to Alberta's oil and gas operations. The energy industry, which powers much of Alberta's economy, 
produces emissions that can drift toward Calgary, bringing pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. On days when the wind blows from the oil fields, the city can experience elevated levels of pollution, which can cause respiratory irritation and increase risks for people with asthma or other lung conditions. Wildfires are another seasonal threat to Calgary's air quality. During the summer, wildfire smoke from British Columbia and even northern Alberta can drift into Calgary, creating thick, smoky skies that obscure the mountains and make it difficult to breathe. In recent years, this has become a regular occurrence, with some summer days marked by extreme pollution levels that can rival those of major industrial cities. When wildfire smoke combines with urban pollution from vehicles and construction, Calgary's air quality can quickly become hazardous. For residents and visitors alike, Calgary's air quality can be unpredictable. The city's famous Chinook winds sometimes help clear out pollution, but during wildfire season or on days with heavy industrial influence, staying indoors and monitoring air quality alerts becomes essential. Number two, Montreal, Quebec. The cultural heart of Quebec and one of Canada's most beloved cities is famous for its festivals, historic architecture, and vibrant neighborhoods. But behind the charm and energy, Montreal faces serious air quality issues that often go unnoticed. With its high population density, heavy traffic, and industrial zones, Montreal's air quality consistently ranks among the worst in the country, especially during the hot summer months. One of the primary contributors to Montreal's poor air quality is its traffic congestion. As a major metropolitan hub, Montreal's streets are filled with cars, trucks, and public transportation vehicles, all emitting nitrogen dioxide and particulate matter. During rush hour, pollution levels can spike, creating smog that settles over the city, particularly in densely populated neighborhoods like downtown and the plateau. The summer months bring even more challenges as ground level ozone a harmful pollutant that forms in the presence of sunlight, rises, leading to smog days that can make breathing difficult for many residents. Montreal's air quality is also impacted by nearby industrial zones, including those along the St. Lawrence River. Lawrence River. Factories, refineries, and chemical plants release pollutants into the air, adding to the mix of urban emissions. When weather conditions trap this pollution over the city, it creates a thick haze that reduces visibility and raises health concerns. These conditions can pose significant risks for people with respiratory problems, children, and the elderly. For Montrealers, air quality advisories are a common part of summer life. On high pollution days, residents are advised to limit outdoor activities, and sensitive groups are urged to stay indoors. So while Montreal may be celebrated for its lively atmosphere and beautiful views, the city's air quality issues are an important reminder that even the most vibrant places can have hidden health risks. Number one, Fort McMurray, Alberta. Fort McMurray, located in the heart of Alberta's oil sands region, is a city built around Canada's booming energy industry. Known for its role in oil production, Fort McMurray has experienced rapid growth over the past few decades, attracting workers from across the country. But while this industry fuels both the local and national economy, it also brings a serious downside. Fort McMurray consistently faces some of the worst air quality in Canada. The oil sands operations near Fort McMurray are one of the largest industrial projects in the world, and they release significant amounts of pollutants into the air. The extraction and processing of oil sands produce a mix of airborne toxins, including sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and volatile organic compounds, VOCs. These pollutants contribute to smog formation and can lead to serious health issues, especially for residents who are constantly exposed. Long-term exposure to these contaminants has been linked to respiratory problems, cardiovascular disease, and even cancer. Fort McMurray is also vulnerable to seasonal wildfire smoke, which can dramatically worsen the air quality. In recent years, intense wildfires have swept through northern Alberta, often surrounding Fort McMurray in thick clouds of smoke for days or even weeks at a time. During these periods, the air becomes dense with fine particulate matter, PM2.5, a pollutant that can penetrate deep into the lungs and exacerbate respiratory conditions. For the residents of Fort McMurray, poor air quality is a constant reality. Many people rely on air purifiers in their homes, 
and closely monitor air quality alerts to stay informed. If you're considering a visit to Fort McMurray or planning to work in the oil sands, it's essential to understand the air quality risks and take precautions to protect your health in this challenging environment. And that wraps up our list of Canadian cities with the worst air quality. Did your city make the list or were you surprised by any of these rankings? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, check out our previous video on Canada's most homeless cities for a different perspective. We put a lot of effort into creating content like this, so if you haven't already, please support us by hitting that subscribe button. It's just one click and it means the world to us.